Hello everybody. Welcome back. So today is 6th of December and uh, merging the tasks I did on 5th and 6th. This is the list. Okay. So the number one thing is I built a couple of stops. Okay, I'm really sorry. I built a couple of stuff using Ajax, Asynchronous, JavaScript, and XML. Well, nowadays Ajax is not that popular, but Ajax is popular. Asynchronous, JavaScript, and JSON, but they haven't changed the name, so it's Ajax still. But the data format that people prefer is JSON. All right, why am I lecturing? Anyways, I built a Bitcoin widget which after clicking the uh, button it fetches the Bitcoin price in US dollars and displays it on the screen. So I click refresh and uh, there you go, this is the current price. So it keeps on fluctuating very often uh, now it will not change maybe after a couple of minutes so this is what I built and then I built a dog lover app which fetches random dog pictures and displays it on the screen so let me show you this is the welcome to random dog pictures I click on it request sent request received and uh, this is the uh, random dog picture so every time I click I get a new dog so you can just keep on clicking and you can get random dog pictures you can enjoy it if you love dogs so happening with Ajax the number two is uh, I learned about the differences key differences <laughs> I learned about the differences between XML HTTP request XHR, which is the old school method, and the new fetch method, fetch API. And uh, the problem with fetch API is not uh, it, it does not support it is not supported by uh, most of the browsers right now. Uh, I don't know, like it does not support like many of the browsers don't support it yet. Um, Internet Explorer. <laughs> Anyways, so. Fetch is uh, an awesome way. It's a very nice syntax. Syn it has a very nice syntax, uh, better than XML HTTP request. So all you have to do is fetch and then give the URL, and then you can chain the methods dot then dot catch as you do in JavaScript. So if the request is succeeded dot then, if not dot catch. Okay, but XML HTTP request you have to do a lot of stuff. So you know open the XML HTTP request and then uh, check it and then listen to it if the status is 200 then do something blah 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 and uh, not to forget the name itself is so long XML HTTP request all right yes I sort of hate it so what is the work around then like if fetch is not supported by most of the browsers uh, then what is the workaround like how can we write good syntax for Ajax and still the browsers will support it and the solution is libraries and the most popular if you have used it is jQuery jQuery has a Ajax method in it through which we can send and receive uh, data asynchronously but jQuery if if we just need uh, to make asynchronous request then just because of that if we are loading jQuery then it's really bloated like we don't need the rest of the hundreds of methods jQuery have like click like fade in fade out um, you know all those DOM methods so there is another library which is also very popular and which is made specially and only for this purpose to make asynchronous 
JavaScript and XML request and that is Axios. So if you guys know or haven't heard of it, Axios is a library pretty popular. Uh, it has a great number of stars as well in the GitHub and uh, it does what jQuery does. It gives you a very good syntax to write to make Ajax request and it's made for only this so it's it will not bloat your application and you will not be requiring all those uh, unnecessary methods DOM manipulation methods and then I uh, so I learned about the Axios library and uh, then I worked on the um, on my quiz application Node.js quiz application um, as you guys know that I've been working on designing the UI and uh, I haven't shown any of my work yet for the quiz application right and the reason is pretty simple once it's done guys it will be live and then I'll explain it right now I just you know like I will show it once it's done okay so uh, I worked on the designing the UI of my quiz application my quiz application yeah it feels nice to say that like my own child really spend a lot of time on making it and finally it's uh, you know presentable so tears on my eyes happy tears so that's it so see you probably on friday next okay see you guys